Hello and welcome to the uh, new edition of Crack and the Cryptic. It's today's Saturday. We're going to take a look at Killer Sudoku as usual, the deadly one from the Times. Um, okay, so start start with I'll do the usual thing and just fill in the obvious ones. Okay, so there we've done that. One of the things um, that some people might not spot, which I just mentioned as an interesting thing, is we have this ten box here with a one, two, three, four in this cell, the highlighted cell, and we have a five up the top here in two, which we know must be made up of two cells that uh, have one, two, three, and four as their only possibilities. And we also have a seven at the bottom. Well, it's impossible to make a seven uh, in two cells without one of those cells being a one, two, three, or a four. Um, so in fact, we do have four cells in column eight that are limited to one, two, three, and four. So we know that this cell, this cell, this cell, and this cell must be um, uh, five or higher. Now I can't see any use for that at the moment, but I just thought I'd mention it because it's um, you know a slightly unusual combination. Um, the most obvious cell we can identify here is this one. So using our 45 rule, uh, we know that the other boxes in this cell add up to 38. Is that yeah? So this must be a seven. Let's fill that. Oops. Let's fill that in. Seven. There we go. These two are 14. And what else can we see? Well, actually, we can see uh, one of these slightly more complicated things here. We can actually isolate this cell's value, and we can do that because if you if you look at the first four rows of the grid, you can see that there are um, boxes completely contained in the first four rows of the bit of the grid other than this this cell here so if we sum all of these boxes um, we will get uh, the difference between 180 which is 45 times 4 and this cell um, and using that method we can see that this is in fact 2 so we should eliminate that from uh, these cells here Uh, the next thing I'd note would be the 19 and the 18 box in these two cells, which add to 37. So we know these two boxes must add up to 8. We already have a 1 and a 2 in this row. So these two cells must be a combination of 3, 5. It's the only way of making 8 without a 1 and a 2. And interestingly for this puzzle, because the last two or three weeks when we've been doing these killer sudokus, we haven't used our 45 rule quite as much as I was expecting, but it seems to be um, making up for it here, because this cell too is, is sticking out. If you, if you look at um, box H and box I, which I think how we're going to label them, you can see that only this cell sticks out from those boxes. So if we just sum those 43, 46, 49, 59, 66, 78, so these two cells add up to 12, and this must be a 6. Oops, 6. And that means, if you remember, we, we had isolated this to be 14, well, it can only be a 5-9 combination now, because the 6 has gone away, 6-8 has gone away as a possibility. So that's nice now, because now we have 7-8 here, is the only two cells left, which means these two cells are one and two. And in fact, looking at um, what's that row seven here, we've got to make 12 from these two cells, but we've already got a three and a five ruled out. So the only thing we're left with, I think, is four, eight for the possible combinations here. Let's put those in. And now we can use, uh, if we remember it, we can, you know, the observation I made about column 8, which was that 1s, 2s, 3s and 4s were going to be entirely contained within this cell, these two cells, and one of the cells in the 7, actually allows us to conclude this is an 8 now, because it can't be a 4. So I'm pleased we did that now. <laughs> uh, let's put that in, 8, 4, which means this is 7, this is 8. And now because of these two sevens here locking this 12 to be a 5-7 box, 
we are only left with one more possibility for how to make these this seven work. This has got to be a one six combination. Let's put that in. And that allows us to conclude that this must be a two. This is a one, this is a two. So so far this is going very swimmingly. Um, you can see now we're only left with three nine in box I here. And because this is a 13, this must be a 9, this must be a 4, and this must be a 3. And that's interesting now because now we've got a 22 to be placed in this box, in these three boxes. So we know, we know that um, one of these cells must be a 9 because you can't make 22 without a 9 in three cells. So neither of these cells can be a 9. Uh, let's just eliminate that possibility, which means this is a 9. And the other thing, of course, is that because we have a 6-7 possibility here, we now know this is, in fact, a 5-8-9 combination. So we should, we should definitely note that for ourselves. This is, uh, seems to be going very well again. Now the three can only go in this cell, and that four, this has to be a two. Okay, three. I'm just looking up, uh, an interesting thing you can note about this eight in the top column now. Um, we know the eight contains a one, um, and we can see already we've got a one and a one here, so we know the one is in one of these two positions. So let's know. Oh, Oopsie daisy, sorry about that. Let's delete that for it. Let me, yes. Um, so we know that one's here or here. Um, now we can see in box A here, we've got already got a one in one of these two cells, and here we have a one in one of these two cells. So hopefully it's clear to everybody that the one in box C must be in one of these two cells, because otherwise it's going to cause a problem. You know, if the one's here, the other one's here. So the, again, the one would be forced into this, this to row three, and, and vice versa if the one's are the other way around. And because we've got the one six here, in fact, this cell is a one, which is quite nice. Uh, in fact, that means that must be a one. Let's move the ones here. Okay, in fact, that means this is a four, this is a three. Which means this is a force. I mean, this puzzle is collapsing. I think, in the sense that it's just it's just becoming trivial. Two, three, two, three. Okay. Nine. It's a combination. Two, three, four, five, six. Well, that's eight, nine. Then we've got a seven, nine here. So this is nine. This is eight, this is five, this is five, and this is nine. Wow. <laughs> this is nine. I'm sorry about this. This this one's not so interesting today because it's um it's proving a little bit uh, a little bit straightforward. The next thing I, I you could note here is you see there's a two three in column four at the base. Well, you can actually limit this cell now to 2, 3, um, because either the 8 is going to be 1, 2, 5, in which case the 2 will be forced into this position, or it's going to be 1, 3, 4, in which case the 3 will be forced into this position. So we should fill that in, because this 2, 3 and this 2, 3 in row 2 now mean that we can place the 1 here. This is a 3, or this is a 1. And therefore, oops, sorry, made a mistake with my um, notes. Therefore, this is four five combination, as shown now. And now we can use the thing we mentioned earlier about the twenty two must contain a nine, and we can see the only place a nine can go in column three here is in row three. So we can place the nine. Um, just to do the notes here because this is if this is five eight that can only be a five. Um, this will be eight. On the other hand, six. Let's 
uh, play that 9 is forced into this box here. And that means these two have to add up to 8, which means this can only be 3 or 5. And now we can see within this 14, we've got 3, 4, 5 as the only possibilities for these three cells. So these three cells are 3, 4, 5 in some combination. Well, that adds up to 12, and therefore this is a 2. Well, this 11 is a 5, 6. And you can see, I think, that the puzzle is... is is collapsing a bit. This I, I think this is going to be a quick solve today. I'm going to put the three up here now, so this is forced to be a three. This is going to be a two. Or this is going to be a two. Again, okay, this is a five. And this can only be a four or a six. This can only be a seven or a five. And we can see that it can't be a five because of uh, column one already containing a five, so this is in fact four seven. Which means this is a six and this is a four, which means this is a five and this is an eight. Which I think means that this must be a six. And we can see the 17 here, uh, I think, has to add up to 8. Um, in fact, only 2, 6 is left here, so it's just forced to be 2, 6. Okay. So if these two add up to 9, what possibilities are left? Well, 1, 8 is a possibility. 2, 3, 6 a possibility? No. Well, 5 isn't a possibility, so this is 1, 8, and that means that this is a 1, and this is an 8. Okay. Which means this is a 7, and this is an 8. And the, and the puzzle's done. I mean, it's um, it's just a case of filling it in, so I'm not going to bore you to watch that. A uh, bit easier this week, um, and um, we'll see you again on Monday for a review of the crossword. Thanks for watching.